Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2017 Shasta Oasis 25RS. It's going to be a great bunkhouse model, nice and lightweight. Start on the front, we'll make our way back and then head on in. Right up front the uh, propane tank cover. You'll have two 20 pound propane tanks there, nice and easy to access. Just undo, undo the thumb screws here, lift the cover and you can get right in. Behind that is going to be the tray for your battery and then further back is the diamond plating. I like the diamond plating on the Oasis. It comes up nice and high so you don't have to worry about rocks or anything getting thrown up by your tow vehicle and damaging your front end. Also on the other side you'll see there is a light over there so if you are uh, trying to hook up or disconnect at night it is nice to have the extra lighting. So you come over here to the side, you can take a look at the pass-through, take a look in there. Huge pass-through which is great. You have three access points, one on the door side, the off door side, then also underneath the bed in the bedroom. Large power awning on here, you can see that spanning all the way across which is fantastic, super easy to use. Touch of a button rolls out, touch of a button rolls right back in. So right down here are going to be easy lube axles so it's going to be uh, easier for you in maintenance in the future. You also have nitrogen filled tires which are going to make for a smoother ride and more even tire wear. Two outside electrical outlets so if you do need to plug anything in like an electric griddle it is nice and easy to do that as well. All right, folks, pretty much going to wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Shasta Oasis 25RS. This particular model is going to be in the cylinder interior. Start off right over here. Uh, this is going to be your door side dinette. I love when they do this. The main reason is you don't have to contend with any kind of fridge vents or anything like that. You have a nice big window right here, which is exactly where you want it. This is your campsite. This is where the action's happening. This is the view you want. So having the dinette right here is perfect. Of course, you know, if you want to sit here and have a meal, enjoy your morning coffee, look out the window, you can do that. This also does double as sleeping space. If you need to sleep additional guests, the legs will come out and the table drops down for you. Right behind that is your uh, space for your TV. If you want a TV in this coach, the backer is going to be right there. Additional storage both above and below. One thing of notes when it comes to electrical outlets, there are quite a few in this camper. There is one right underneath here, so if you do have to sit at the dinette and plug in a laptop or iPad, you can certainly do that. Now, uh, of course, there's one in the entertainment center for the TV. There's also going to be one located right here. This is mainly for the kids' use. Uh, that way, if they're in the bunks and need to you know, charge their phones or iPads, they can certainly do that. Two bunk beds right here in the back, 250 pound capacity on there, light both top and bottom which is great, extra vent up top, uh, teddy bear bunk series as well so they are going to be nice and comfortable. Let's go ahead and take a walk into the bathroom here. You'll see right there is your foot flush toilet, plenty of room there. Uh, tub shower which is exactly what you want when you have kids especially if you have young ones. Hand wand there makes it nice and easy and up top is going to be your vent fan. Over to this side is mirrored medicine cabinet and down below is the countertop, your sink there and storage underneath. Right outside the bathroom right here I want to show you. So this is going to be extra storage. Open this up, excellent pantry storage right here or if you want to put kids clothes there you can do that as well. And then you have a bank of three drawers right beneath. On the off door side, you get a nice big slide here. So I like the slide, especially in a lightweight coach like this. Uh, you can see right here is the jackknife style sofa. It is comfortable to sit on. And take a look at all the storage underneath. Great storage there, really easy to access. Perfect place to put a lot of your bigger items like uh, extra pillows, you know, linens. Uh, just a great space there. And if you need to plug anything in, again, right there is an electrical outlet. So as I said, electrical outlets all throughout the coach, which is fantastic. As we step up a little further, it brings us into the kitchen. Six cubic foot Dometic fridge and freezer combo. You can take a look there. It has all the space you need. Uh, you got a cutout right here. So if you do have a taller item like orange juice or half gallon of milk, you can fit it there. This will run off of both LP and electric. It also has automatic switch over. What that means is if you're running it off LP, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it's going to switch over to electric, saving you on your gas. Then the rest of the kitchen is going to be finished out right here. Up top is a microwave. Right below that, fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Good storage up here too. Again, great pantry storage there. Light helps make it nice and bright in the kitchen, which you definitely want while cooking. Uh, double bowl sink with the high rise faucet. Nice and easy to go ahead and do dishes. Another electrical outlet, so coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever, you can go ahead and use that. Uh, three burner at wood cooktop, high output right up front there. And because most people don't use an oven, instead of an oven you get extra storage. That's what 
you really want. You don't want an oven. Who uses an oven, right? So I like having the extra storage there, especially on a coach this size. And then take a look at that. Great storage down below. Plenty of room there for a trash can if you want to put one in. All right, it's gonna wrap it up for this area. Let's go take a look at the bedroom. The bedroom of the 25RS features a full walk around bed. Uh, this will lift up with additional storage as I showed you when we were outside. That way you can go ahead and connect to the pass-through. Window on each side allows for great cross breeze. Uh, if you take a look on the sides of the bed, you have great wardrobe space there. So plenty of hanging space, nice big shelf across the top uh, for extra storage. And right below each window here, you'll see an electrical outlet. So if you do need to plug anything in, uh, whether it's a cell phone, CPAP machine, whatever, you can easily do that. If you want TV, right here is gonna be your TV backer. They went ahead and marked it for you. And then up top is your connections. One last thing of note, you'll see there is an AC duct here. This whole coach does have ducted AC with the quick dump option, which is great. That way as you're loading up or unloading, you can just have it blow right into the main living space, cooling it down quickly. And then once you're settled in, you can close those off and it'll duct through the entire coach, keeping everything nice and cool. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Shasta Oasis 25 RS. It's a great coach, you know, it's nice and lightweight. You have those back bunks, you, you have the uh, um, jackknife sofa, great kitchen setup. Definitely one you wanna come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of the unit, such as length or weight, I encourage you to visit our website, AmericanRV.com, and you'll find all the answers you're looking for. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.